Hey guys, this is your blood moon reading, okay? We're gonna see what you guys can expect and um, what things you possibly can purge and you know what you can what you can do to help yourself during this period. All right, so this is for we're gonna do Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in that order, all right? So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on for my Taurus during this period of the blood moon? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see what's coming towards you guys that you may not know. It's like your subconscious, your shadow, any being even, okay? Let's see what's coming towards you that you may not know that's going to challenge you. The Nine of Coins. Hmm. I think for a lot of you, this is... This is your confidence. This is whether or not you really want to be single. This is your money for some of you. This is standing on your own two feet. This is whether or not to, you know, offer somebody uh, maybe a token. This is challenging you um, for some to actually get that 10th pinnacle. Okay. The Nine of Coins. Let's see what you can do to be proactive about this situation. What can you do to shed some light? Hmm. I think it's for you guys not to be stagnant for sure. There's a need for you to take action on something. Um, there's a need for you to start something new now when you do this and i think this is probably why you guys are some of your your some of you your confidence is is needing to be raised in order for you to act upon something only you guys know what that is okay um but I'm thinking that, you know, when you do act upon this, it's going to, it's going to spark something. There's going to be, um, a complete eruption of emotions, um, of, you know, a sequence of events even. Okay. So if this is you guys like really feeling kind of insecure about starting a job, there's a need for you to like really put applications in if you're unhappy, um, if it's somebody that you want to be with is really putting that effort there. But, you know, you're being challenged here. Your stability is being challenged. Your confidence is being challenged. Your um, your status is being challenged. Do you really want to be single or do you want that 10th pinnacle? Because if so, there is a need for you to act upon it. Okay, so let's see what needs to be purged here for my Tauruses. This fire sign individual I, I feel is involved here. Aries, Leo, Sag. Let's see what needs to be purged. The flightiness, the flightiness needs to be purged. Um, you know, if you're going to be all in, be all in. Okay. Don't waver. Choose what it is that you really want deep inside in your core and go for it. Okay. Um, there's a need to be all in. Um, but at the same time, if you guys want stability, if you want to be in a relationship, you want that 10th pinnacle, do not approach this as if it's a sexual thing. Do not approach this as if you guys don't have strong feelings attached to the attraction that you have for somebody, okay? 
this person is going to need to know that that you are all in because I feel like they're very confident and they know what they want. So I think it's, it's really to approach this with a sincerity of what it is that you really want. All right. Ooh. And a card just flopped down on the floor. Let's see what that is. It's the three of pentacles and it's in the upright. Watch out there. It's my doggy. Three of pentacles. What parts of your life should you advance on? Working with other people. Do not stay in solitude. Do not feel like you can do things all on your own here. Um, I think for a lot of you, this is actually like, you know, a relationship. Strongly. And I think it's coming through like that because, um, you know, I do primarily love. So that is what tends to, to come through on this channel. But... Um, this is actually working with other people, spending your time, lending your time to um, matters that are important to you, okay? To devote your time to that. So if there's somebody significant that you're thinking about, that speaks volumes, okay? Let's see what you can do to evolve from the things that you've learned. What can my Tauruses do to evolve? Be supportive. Be supportive. See, and the difference here, okay, this is the thing. You don't have to be in a relationship. You don't. But here again, the Nine of Pentacles is a person that that really claims that they want to be single but they probably don't um i think that this person may be a little like they shy away from relationships because of their experiences their past experiences the queen of pentacles can be single but this is a queen that likes commitment. So that is that is like the difference between the nine of pentacles and the queen of pentacles for me. Is that one is basically not really in denial, but they're choosing at this point to be single because of the things that they've gone through. And this is like building up the confidence to actually go towards that 10th pinnacle once again. The queen of pinnacles is good being single, but her goal really is, you know, to be in a committed, supportive um, relationship, okay? Move those over a little bit. And I think this is like coming to grips with what it is that you truly want here. Going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles, you know, coming out of denial, knowing that, you know, to be with somebody, you have to be willing to work with them. Okay. Compromise. Let's see what will be the result of this eclipse. Beautiful. Beautiful. I think you guys will actually, um, See, it's kind of tricky because some of you, some of you will still be pulled here with the lovers. You will still be pulled between wanting to be single, single and wanting to be in a relationship or coming across like, you know, it's, you know, you're good by yourself. It's purely like a sexual thing. You're not really sure if you want to be committed. Okay. And then others of you will shy away from a purely sexual relationship because, again, the Queen of Pentacles is a committed person. Okay. 
So this reading is for you guys to kind of take notice of what it is that you truly want deep in your heart, whether you really do find yourself um, as a single person or whether you're just trying to get your confidence up so that you can have that 10th pinnacle with someone else. Okay. There's a need to decide exactly what status is that you are standing by and going for it and acting like it. Okay. So that's what I have for my Taurus, sis. So let's move on to, who did I say? Virgo? Okay. So let's see what is going on for my Virgo during this blood moon. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I went a little long with Taurus, didn't I? It's like 10 minutes down. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Virgos. What's going on with my Virgos? What can they expect that may get under your skin a little bit? Page of Coins. There's something, either somebody else is taking too long or you feel like things are not moving as fast as you would like them to. Um, feeling like there's something, there's something itching in you that you want to do. And, you know, it's like either you can't find the time to do it or you just don't really know how to do it. It's bothering you because there's something, there's something that you're eager to do here. Let's see what you can do to be proactive about this situation. King of Cups. I feel like this is you guys being emotionally stable, um, getting your head together, knowing exactly what it is that you want to do. If you want to commit to someone, if you want to offer to someone, um, that's what you can do. If that's what's bothering you is like how to make an offer is a need for you to kind of get your grounding and, you know, decide that if that's what you want to do, do it. Let's see what needs to be purged with you guys. What needs to be purged? What, what does Virgo need to purge? Hiding. Hiding. Thinking about things in the past. Hiding behind your emotions. Hiding your emotions. Being in recluse. Removing yourself from people. Hmm. Coming out of that dark place. Whatever is keeping you from doing what it is that you want to do. Going towards somebody here. Making an offer that, you know, you want to be with them. You're excited about them. You love them. Whatever this means for you. Traveling to them. Hmm. Let's see what parts of your life can you advance upon? What can you do? What parts of Virgo's life can they advance upon? Speaking. Speaking. If you guys have the gift of gap, I think that you will know exactly what to say as long as it's coming from the heart here. Okay? As long as it's coming from the heart, you will find the words to say. I think that a lot of you, you know, you know exactly what it is that you want to do. And I think you like you have all of these feelings that you keep bottled up inside um, and it's, instead of, of expressing that which makes you a little uncomfortable you just kind of withdraw so there's a need for you to speak your piece here use those speaking skills okay let's see what you can do to evolve from the things that you've learned here what can my Virgos do to evolve why is this Queen of Wands? <laughs> the Queen of Wands is in reverse here. What can you do to evolve? Remove that mask. 
remove that mask. The Queen of Wands in the reverse is... For me, it's somebody that is not taking action, that's not confident in themselves. Um, they are hiding behind the mask um, of their feelings. They're not eager to do anything. It's like they don't show it. Inside, they are, but they're not showing exactly their true what their true character is and what it is that they actually want to do. They're actually doing pretty much nothing um, as we see with the hermit here. Hmm. Come out. Come out. Speak. Take action. Um, show your emotion. If you're hurt, say you're hurt. If you love somebody, say it. If you want to spend time with somebody, say it. Do it. Okay? Let's see what will come about. For my Virgos, as a result of this eclipse, what will come? What will happen? Hmm. Hmm. I think you will address, you will address um, whatever issues, whatever it is that you're trying to resolve here. I think that... Um, you will come right out and say whatever it is that you need to say to whoever you need to say it to. I think, you know, it's been building up inside of you here with the Hermit and the Queen of Wands in reverse. There's a lot that you want to get off your chest. Some truth that you want to get off your chest. For sure. And I think this Queen of Wands is going to be flipped upright and you are going to move. Because there's somebody you're very excited about here. If you can see these cards, my camera's acting crazy, so I can't even show you guys like how the cards are laying. But the Queen of Wands in the reverse is the only card here that is a wand. Everything else is green and blue. And even the King of, King of Cups, it's like, you know, this turquoise looking color in between the green and blue. Because this is somebody that is like, you know, sometimes this King of Cups can be a little um, unstable. Kind of ruthless sometimes. So I think there is a fire sign energy that maybe is significant to you guys um, that you really you want to address some issues with. Maybe even an air sign here or maybe, you know, they have air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, waters here as well. Cancer, um, Scorpio, Pisces. But um, does not have to be any of those signs. But, you know, there's definitely somebody here. I feel that there there is some truth that you want to share. Uh, <clears throat> you want to have a conversation as I get choked up here. All right. So my Virgos, that's what I have for you. And um, I'm going to move right on to Capricorn here. I'm going to turn this Queen of Wands back up. Right. <laughs> I don't know how that got turned over. And she came out in somebody else's reading here. And I thought I turned it back over. But, okay. So, anyway, let's move on. Let's see what's going on with my Capricorns here. Let's see what's coming towards my Capricorns that they don't know. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. There's that King of Cups. All that shuffling I just said. Was coming towards my Capricorns is somebody that I feel like cares for you, but I don't think they really know how to express it. Um, sometimes they may come off um, like an ass here, okay? Because the cups don't necessarily mean that, you know, it's positive emotions, okay? Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. Yeah, he's looking right at that cup, wants to offer something, but there's something holding him back. Okay, so in your case, this is a person. Let's see what you can do to be proactive in this situation. <laughs> be ready for it. Just be ready for it. Because I think a lot of you guys sense this. 
I think you know there's somebody out there that you have unfinished business with. And um, I think you're expecting it. So do expect it um, and do get your own emotions in check before this actually happens. OK, because that can be definitely um, a challenge for you. All right. Let's see what needs to be purged here for you guys. What does Capricorn need to purge? Hmm. Maybe some of you have secrets. Maybe some of you have things that you're not, you know, there's things about yourself that you are not necessarily proud of or that you don't share. Um, I think this is a need for you to be yourself. Do not hide. Is what I'm getting here. There's a need for you to be yourself. Purging out, you know, the need to be like one way all the time. Nobody's one way all the time. Okay. Yeah. Hiding your feelings. Do not hide your feelings. Say exactly how you feel. Be up front. Just be up front. Okay. Let's see what parts of your life that you can advance. Capricorn. Hmm. What you take action on. Um, the things that you are excited about. Anything that you're excited about. Um, you know, expand on your ideas. Go towards the things that really excite you. Um, if you have an idea, plan it out and see where it goes. Take, you know, don't just jump right into things, I feel. But definitely act on them. Act on them and finish it, okay? Act on them and finish it. Let's see what you can do to evolve from the things that you've learned here. Decide what you want and go for it. Choose what you want to do and go for it. I'm getting that um, a lot of you could be an eerie set that you guys are involved with, or um, maybe you have Aries in your chart, but Pisces even. But what I'm getting here is that the things that you are passionate about, which is indicated with the red here, and feeling very like um, it makes you happy, go towards those things. Go towards those things. Be decisive. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Don't hide yourself. Be who you are. Say what you think. Say what you mean. Say how you feel is what I'm getting here, okay? Oh, and then I have these cards coming out. Let's see what these are. We have the page of coins. Everything's pointing to you like exploring, planning, um, acting on things that you feel like are going to benefit you, be lucrative for you, bring you in abundance. I mean, mundane things even, not just love, but other things that you feel like will, other things that you feel like will um, in increase your your um your livelihood your way of living even okay yeah some of you have you know you're coming um from a breakup where you know there was a lot of disappointment here a lot of hurt here and i think you guys are um that's a ton of cups right there i'm sorry my finger is over it and the three of swords a lot of you had a breakup and um, it was something that, you know, meant a lot to you. And I think that's who this King of Cups is, is coming in for you guys. Um, 
I think this person's probably coming in to, to probably apologize to you guys here with this page of coins. They have something to say. They have something to offer here. All right, let's see what will come about as a result of this eclipse, which is making me feel like that's what's coming about, that somebody's going to come in and um, there's something they want to say to you. Okay. It's going gonna, it's gonna to dredge up those feelings in them as well. Let's see what will come, in, come about as a result of this eclipse. This is growth. Um, this is, you know, abundance. This is, this is almost like, this is a female, the, the feminine energy for me, for the magician, that you guys will have everything at your fingertips to have exactly what you want to get, um, exactly what you want. Um, I think a lot of you guys are beautiful inside and out. And I think that there's something very different, different and, um, um, alluring about you. I think there's something very mysterious about you here. I think you have this very, um, um, this youthful, um, look, this youthful behavior that is very alluring to people. Um, some of you may even get back with somebody and you guys may have a baby together. But there is real growth here. I think you guys will learn a lot during this period, um, actually. Okay, so that's what I have for my Capricorns. And I hope you guys enjoy. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.